Hello, and welcome back, and it's spaghetti carbonara time. Um, done, how they do it in Italy, amazing. Just use egg yolks, cheese, and uh, you use the pasta water to make the sauce. But this way I do it is absolutely foolproof. No scrambled egg, no scrambled egg, it's forbidden. So um, enjoy making it, use all the techniques, make sure you, that you use um, room temperature egg yolks. So when you crack them open, just leave them aside for maybe half an hour to an hour. And the same with the cheese, so that when you add it to the pan, um, you're not cooling it down, you're sort of maintaining temperature. Also use a very hot plate, um, a warm plate from the oven or run it under the hot tap. Make sure there's no transfer of temperature from the food into the plate, okay? So that's how you do it. Follow this procedure and you'll have the most beautiful uh, professional chef uh, carbonara as they do it in Rome and Sorrento. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Okay. So professional carbonara time. So fit. Um, five egg yolks. No whites. Put them in a bowl and set them aside. Five egg yolks. This is for two people this meal. Okay. Set them aside. Then into another bowl, grate 50 grams of pecorino and 50 grams of parmigiano. Into a bowl, and then once they're in the bowl, you're going to rough them up like if you were making short crust pastry. The reason being, um, you're going to mix this with the egg paste to make a big paste. So you tip all that into the egg, now it's now finely crumbed. And then mix it in with a spatula, okay? Set that aside. Do you want those eggs to be that egg and cheese to be room temperature when you start to serve the dish up, okay? When you start to cook with it. So if for an hour possible. Then get 100 grams of pancetta. Yeah. Cut the rinds off, but save them. Put them aside because you're going to put them in the frying pan. they got lots of fat in them for flavour. So cut the rinds off. Uh, and then cut the pancetta into um, small pieces like what like you get. So down the middle, and then down lengthways. Nice sort of mini rectangles, basically. Yeah. So chop up that hundred grams of pancetta. Uh, nice fine thin pieces. Yeah. Break them all up. And then put them in the frying pan with those those big pieces of uh, rind as well because they got loads of fat in them and it's the fat that we want because that's got loads of flavour, okay? We're going to take those pieces out, of course. I've also put a piece of garlic in there as well. So um, all that pancetta in my pan is frying with garlic. No oil goes in because all the fat in the pancetta is released during heating, yeah? So that, that just frying its own. Get two people's worth of spaghetti. You're going to have to decide that into a seasoned boiling pan with olive oil in it and gently add them to the pan make sure they don't stick to the side keep the heat going in the pan get it back to the boil and simmer it until it's al dente but you can see that the pancetta is frying at the same time this is your spinning plates here you got to make sure that everything happens at exactly the same time okay so Get that pasta in there, Stevie. Go on, boy. There we go. It's folded in. It's ready to go in. There you go. Tip it in. Push it down. Get some tongs and separate it. Start spinning it around the bowl. Just make sure it's nice and separate then, doesn't it? Because you won't be draining this pasta in a colander. You'll be putting it straight into that pan of pancetta. Okay. So cook that on a on a boil now for probably it's probably about eight minutes I think something like that it's al dente basically so now we'll kind of concentrate on frying the pancetta making sure it's nice golden brown take some chunks off the pan nice golden crispy chunks and then we're going to chop these into a nice fine not powder but we're going to chop them really nice and fine and then add them right at the end yeah so put them in a pan and chop them up nice and fine. We're going to add them as garnish at the end, but of course we've left some in the pan for flavour and texture. So we've got little chunks in the pan, big chunks we're chopping up into nice fine garnish, okay? Sniff your finger, eat a bit, <laughs> like I did. Then with that boiling hot pasta water, we're going to tip four ladles into the main uh, pan of pancetta. 
to simmer that until it ta- makes a nice sort of starchy uh, liquid. It, it probably takes about, simmer it, I say boil it basically on a high heat for about three minutes. Uh, when it's a nice starchy consistency, add all the pasta in. There we go. Mix it in, mix it in. All that pasta out of the pan. Mix it in. Yeah. Tiny bit left. It's all good. Get it in there. That nice starchy liquid of um, pasta water and pancetta in the bottom of the pan there. It's just going to be absolutely piping hot. So turn off the pasta water and set it aside. Make sure it's off. Now mixing all that pasta into that red hot uh, pancetta, um, pasta water. Add a couple more ladles. Make sure it's got the right amount of water in before you add the egg, because that's what's coming up next. Mix it in. Okay, make sure it's all nicely mixed so that that hot water's all over everything. Nice, starchy hot water. And then we are going to completely turn the heat off. Okay, that looks good to me, Steve. So completely turn the heat off, right? Off. And they're showing you no heat whatsoever. Let that calm down. Let it calm down. All that hot boiling liquid. You don't want that touching eggs because that will turn it into scrambled eggs in a second. And that is not what you want. Nothing I detest more than someone saying they cook me a carbonara in a restaurant and you get a plate full of posh scrambled egg. It is offensive to me. Offensive. Okay, so that's calmed down now, but it's still absolutely boiling hot. Make sure that plate comes out of the oven or it's red hot. That plate that you're going to dish up to on needs to be hot as well. Uh, there should be no transferring of heat. Everything should be really, really hot. So in goes the egg and cheese paste that you've made. Remember, that's just egg yolks, pecorino and parmigiano. Okay, mix it in a little bit at a time. See? It's all mixing with the water, but don't forget the heat is completely off and it'll never reach the temperature that would cause it to go to scrambled egg, right? Now we've done a make sure it's mixed all over, get the rest of it and slap it on the top, mix it in. And what we're going to do now is because that pasta water to the top of the screen has cooled down ever so slightly, we're going to use that to thicken the sauce to the right consistency so just thin it out rather actually thin out the sauce rather than cook it thin it out to the right consistency so no cream in a carbonara just egg yolk and cheese and that is it and water look at that it's getting there isn't it it's just beautiful creamy oh my god gout inducing richness <laughs> Yep, I think I had a big toe after this. Um, (laughs) Yeah, a couple of days on crutches after this, baby. (laughs) Some alipurano. Trying to to reset the balance of uric crystals. Okay, God. Right, okay, so that's ready to be dished up. So to be fancy, I got a egg ring, um, popped it into, you see, an egg ring in the middle of the plate. I'm sorry it's slightly off screen. Uh, I was dishing up while it was, it was, this was our posh dinner basically. So I had to make sure it was all happening and I just had to have the camera running in the background um, while my wife set the table and got the Prosecco out and all that. So one portion of carbonara, make sure that person gets a good amount of um, sauce, pasta and pancetta from the pan itself. Yep. Then the next thing we need to do is get some of that Parmesan Pecorino grated cheese. We've got some left over. And those beautiful finely chopped pancetta crumb that we made. Black pepper. Pop that aside and work on the next plate. This one's mine. Yeah, get some chopsticks. Use them inverted so that the big end's the other way around. To get it out the, uh, out the pan easier. There we go, tiny bit more. I can use my hands because it's for me. There we go, get it on the plate. On the plate, don't forget that plate is red hot. It's not cooling anything down. That's the key to it. Cheese, pancetta, and of course a confit egg yolk on top. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I take it to that little bit of an edge? 
little picture for your Insta. This is my wife's now, confit egg yolk for her, so you can see what the plate was actually like. It was a beautiful, warm, balmy evening. There you go, darling, that is for you, made with love. And we sat outside and drank Prosecco on a Friday night. I didn't have any gigs. There's some focaccia bread I made, and the recipe should be coming up alongside this so you can make your own garlic focaccia fresh from scratch. Oh my God, what a meal. Enjoy it. Uh, Please subscribe to my channel. Encourage me to make more easy peasy professional level videos for you to follow. Uh, Love you. Take care. Stay safe. Ciao. Bye bye. Au revoir. Alvida saying. See you later.